each individual tongue is different how there is a thumb is having some kind of the biometric likewise everybody thumbs are different and everybody's papilla are different everybody's carbuncles are different and you know everyone's epiglottis whatever we accumulated on the tongue region nearly 2000 to 10000 different kinds of the papillas are existing in the oral tongue how many 2000 to 10000 nearly some time it says it's 2000 to 4000 sometimes it says the nearly 10000 papillas are existing across the tongue so what are those uh, uh, you know papilla let me see that's called as a tip of the tongue and also side of the tongue on the root of the tongue normally the tongue is divided into three segments the 1 by 3rd is the anterior 1 by 3rd middle 1 by 3rd and then posterior 1 by 3rd that indicating divided into three that means how many inches make it as a 1 inch 2 inch and 3 inch or 1.25 inch is the one segment another 1.25 inch is the another segment is the last is the root so this is the tip then center then it is the root right Inter so next we will see that inside there is the fungiform papillae filiform papillae folate papillae and circumvillate papillae these are the four types of the papillae are existing inside our uh, tongue so what are those exactly this is very much essential to the body system because whatever we consume so either you just use as a water or the meat or something is a, anything is a sour taste or the bitter taste sweet taste all are connected to our different parts of the tongue it absorbs right in this way the sour taste goes to the side of the tongue and then sweet taste goes to the uh, last corner and sometimes it it shows that is a lower portion a uh, lower portion of the tongue sometimes is sweet and also this is the bitter taste it it's a it differentiate the differentiation is there over here and then this is it goes as a sweet taste some author has written but sometimes it goes the salt taste over here but however how many different types of the uh, sensations are there four to five four to five sensations are there all the sensations will be absorbed by the papillae what are those fungiform papillae filiform papillae folate papillae or circumvillate papillae these are the circumvillate papillae is less but filiform papillae is there at the center of the tongue at the center of the tongue at the center of the tongue the maximum thousands of the papillae are existing where you cannot see it but under the cross section of the microscope you can see it there is a numerous thousands of the papillae are existing on our tongue region so that's very very important for our overall health the people says that i don't feel any sensation or the taste is very poor for me now after the hyperpyrexia it takes some days maybe one week or three days to regain the taste because the taste must got the inflammation or got heat or some kind of the you know uh, repair has been happen over that region in order to further rejuvenate that cells of the the tongue it takes some times so hopefully we understand these are the various papillae which is the most important this is the tongue to be known as a apex of the tongue this is the tip to be known as the apex of the tongue and then further the central line to be known as a body of the tongue and then root of the tongue so where exactly side of the tongue so where the palatine tonsils also existing and epiglottic uh, velocula and also palato pharyngeal arch epiglottis these are the few important you know related to the tongue but normally there is a tonsils you keep it in the mind normally we used to see the tonsils the tonsils name is palatine tonsils so that palatine tonsils normally where we can uh, see it so if they get excessive growth is there that particular time and the ent surgeons will tell you the palatine tonsils are there that time you need to remove it off so normally that also get obstruction but however the tongue is very important for the what are the other functions the root of the tongue is connected to the hyoid bone then genio gollus uh, there are the eight different types of the muscles are there hyoglossal membrane 
Normally, how many types of the muscles are there on the tongue? Eight. How many types? Eight types of the muscles are existing. Yes. One to be known as styloglossus and hyoglossus. And styloglossus are here. Styloglossus is not there, which is also another muscle called as styloglossus. And geniohyoid bone, hyoid muscles, and platoglossus and genioglossus. These are the different types of the muscles are there. So those muscles are again divided into two types. One type to be known as a intrinsic muscles. The other category to be known as a extrinsic muscles. Right. So these are the two different types. There are the four paid intrinsic tongue muscles allows them to change the shape. And then extrinsic muscles are tongue muscles are the vital to the process of the swallowing and help the tongue to move around in the mouth and the genioglossus muscles protrudes the tongue styloglossus muscles retrude the tongue and elevates its lateral margins hyoglossus muscles retrude the tongue and depress its lateral margins so what exactly this uh, will going to do this extrinsic and intrinsic muscles normally the tongue is movable organ so it is the voluntary muscles which is the tongue muscles called as a not the involuntary involuntary means that means heart muscles involuntary lung muscles involuntary inside the any muscles are there viscera visceral muscles are involuntary muscles right the cardiac muscles are involuntary likewise it's not under control of our will but tongue is Cold removes, people says no, tell something, open your mouth. So that is under control our will. But when we wanted to open the mouth, yeah, we can. So we don't want to open the mouth, we shut simply. So likewise, if we wanted to talk or tell anything, so the mind gives a signal, we open the mouth. And then once we open the mouth, then the tongue is very much essential for the talking. At the same time for the certain movements, what are the different movements? For instance, uh, 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 uh. something, anything we wanted to change the positions, right? How the dogs are using the, you know, wanted to clean our mouth or, you know, anything. The tongue is very much a crucial for them, for the many conditions to scratch or to cleanse or to do some activities, which is very much essential. So far as is, is the tongue is smaller than the half of the tongue of the dog is human tongue so still is they don't speak we speak more right <laughs> so that tongue is the movements are very much essential the trembling of the movement is very much essential while talking also at the same time we are chewing that time actually that will support these muscles will support so these muscles, styloglossus, hyoglossus muscles will support Baba. Once you had the food, that should go to the, the food pipe only. That shouldn't go to the nasopharynx or the laryngopharynx. Right. Sometimes it should go to the, the esophagus. That shouldn't deviate that. So in that way, those muscles internally will support to the tongue to work precisely their work. Right? And also for the certain movements. For example, my dryness, mouth is there, my lips are getting dry. So that time, perhaps I do like this, right? Moisturizing, moisturizing effect to the our lips, right? So this and all, when the dryness is there, or excess secretion, both having the problem. The tongue having the ability to secrete the saliva. Some people, they don't secrete much saliva. That also related to the, some kind of the problem. So these muscles having the ability to secrete. So how much ml may be required per day? Normally, the nearly, I can say, greater than 1 liter or greater than 1 liter of the, the saliva is secretion taken place in our mouth. So that we normally swallow. Otherwise, when you don't want to 
get that but when you wanted to use as a strain some tooth powder normally you use it but at the same time you need to place it inside the mouth for at least 2 to 3 minutes then you can't swallow that but uh, you cannot spit it out because that has some medicinal properties that time you hold it then after 1 minute so how much saliva you has been stored how much saliva is coming down you can have a look that Normally, I was studied long back in the entire life, entire life in individual person, the secretion of the saliva is how much? There is a big swimming pool, right? You can go to the sports arena or somewhere and then you will get nearly how the swimming pool is there, that the entire pool will going to be filled with our saliva. The entire life, I mean to say. That much secretion is required. Normally, see what happened. These muscles will support us for everything. Normally, it's required per day is 1 liter minimum. You should drink the water to do the moisture and then cleansing to the body system. Normally, what happened? We don't do it or we will do it. See, even this morning, till morning to now, no, hardly, I didn't have two glasses. Maybe I had one glass in the morning, but now... The still water is there the, at home. I didn't drink the water. So in this way, the water is required to body system. Yeah, of course, I'll consume later period. But I mean to say, when you don't drink the water as well, but this indirectly will support to our body system to do the moisturization naturally by you getting the saliva itself. Yes or no? How much? At least one liter saliva is going. Where is it going? It's going to your abdominal system, digestive system. But this also part of the digestive system and also it is a part of the central nervous system. So therefore central nervous system works about the thinking and controlling and talking and speaking so on. Whereas in the digestion to be taken place with the support of the salivary glands to be taken place with the saliva. So saliva secretion taken place by, by the salivary glands. So that indirectly supporting to our metabolism, helping the digestion. So therefore the person who don't drink, for example sadhus are there and they don't eat and they don't drink and they don't pass the urine, they don't pass the you know, stool. Some people are very rare people are there in India, the Agastyar, Siddhars or you know, many people. Uh, related to that when you go to the Himalayan place there uh, the people are living under the you know tribal level where under the forest but they don't eat anything but still they are living but how they are living with the support of the naturally body is secretion to be taken place saliva also having the medicinal properties saliva to be known as a the therapy even in future maybe you can create one therapy that therapy also to be known as a saliva therapy this also one of the uh, holy therapy normally i can consider because it works for the numerous conditions whenever abdominal pain is there you take your saliva and then apply on the abdominal region that also indirectly support you when you have the blinking of the eyes so that time maybe some people says my right eyes is blinking i think you will going to get the the you will going to get the uh, maybe gold or ornaments i don't know maybe the the crores of rupees you will going to get feel you know, the people will feel it the left blinking left eyes are blinking that indicating maybe something going to loss this is the superstitious however it is but you just take your saliva and then put it on your eyes, lashes and also you can apply your saliva uh, inside the eye as well. This directly, indirectly will be helpful. Saliva also having the abilities to do the moisturization. And you know that whenever I am talking or somebody is talking, the speakers, professors or singers, and they do require, they cannot drink the water while singing. They cannot you know, drink the water in the conference. But uh, sometimes we require to do the moisturization with the support of the saliva. I do like this sometimes that also getting the moisturization. Otherwise, it gets the obstruction while talking. 
In this way, the saliva is the most imperative. So, who will going to support this muscular system and salivary glands? Both will going to support. That's the reason these eight muscles are very important. How there is a connecting to the hyoid bone and also the maxilla and mandible region to regulating the overall tongue.